guys, nothing's going to be fine at this time of year. But have you seen one guy separate in any meaningful way a quarterback now that you've had some time to evaluate those three? You know, I, I think that uh, probably we got two more scrimmages that I, that I feel like we, we need to, to know better for that. But I think there is back and forth. You know, good days for one. One may take the lead. One may so I, I think that uh, uh, they're both obviously young. They're both learning. They're both making plays. Uh, I think that it's just uh, it's a process you go through without question. But uh, I just think that uh, um, it's not really ready to say who they can lead at this point. Do you, do you want that in spring, or are you fine going into summer still leaving that kind of open ended and figuring it out? Yeah, you know, for me, we haven't made that decision yet. Uh, right at this point. Um, would not be ready to make that decision, you know. So if something changed, we would. But at the same time, there's so much to be done over the summer. There's so much to be done in fall camp uh, that uh, it's really going to be difficult to make that decision prior to that, I would think. You know, so, but especially when you got two guys that uh, have, uh, <coughs> don't have a lot of experience in games, you know. So, but at the same time, I love the way they're working. And, uh, and I'm, I'm excited about it. I think that they've, uh, they've both shown that they can run our offense and lead our football team, which is great. Guys, what stood out to you the most about those two guys, Sorsby and uh, Jackson? Well, I tell you what, they, uh, they're really great with each other, which is always an interesting dynamic, you know, per se, in, in terms of even in the meeting rooms and on the practice field and, and off the field. So I, I just think you got two high-quality young men that have a lot of talent that are highly competitive. You know, they both want to be the guy without question. And, uh, but I think that the thing that sticks out to me is just they encourage each other, you know, and, and they're you know, not like they're trying to, you know, um, be the, the, uh, the guy's adversary, you know, since that whatsoever. And uh, they're teammates, you know, and I just like the way they're working. Uh, I like the way they're both. And I, we did two men today for the first time, you know, and so we've only had two, you know, full padded practices too. So uh, it's still a lot left to be out there without question. But I think that they, uh, they're learning the offense. We're kind of past the point of, of the initial install and asked more about just continue to master some things and focus on some scenarios and situational football like we did today with, with two minute and uh, continue to grow that. But I think that uh, uh, you still have um, a lot of time ahead of us, a lot, a lot of things to be decided for sure. How does Taven kind of handle both coming in as the new guy and building those relationships with his teammates and competing for the job? Yeah, that is probably a little more challenging, you know, just because you're new to everything, you know. So, but obviously being here in January was huge. And uh, knew some of the guys already, which is which helped, I think. But at the same time, you got to earn, you know, that that uh, ability to speak, you know, and be as part of our leadership council. And they both are, and, and just trying to develop those guys. And, and uh, they're both naturally that way. They're both guys that uh, don't have a hard time. Uh, communicating and speaking, and they have that confidence about them, which is really good. So, but I think anytime you come in new, you know, you got to step yourself in the weight room, step yourself how, how you're going to work, how you're going to practice, and how you handle, you know, when things go your way and when things don't go your way. And I think that's really what, you know, we're trying to create as much stress and pressure on them, even as much chaos as we can on them, because that's the only way you're going to get ready for a game. Coach, without asking you to give away too much, I know Andre Carter's a DN, but he looks like a guy that has some versatility that you kind of move him. He's almost like a chess piece, I guess. How nice is it to have that kind of flexibility with a guy who can, no matter where you put him, he can he can get out after the quarterback? Yeah, he's a difference maker. You know, it's become pretty obvious. And uh, neat to have that, you know, a guy that can pressure the quarterback, but he's such a big physical presence in there on the run as well. And so uh, just love what he brings. And we're definitely going to be creative with that. And, and uh, um, you know, anytime you have an individual, and I, and I even think, you know, Linnell Carr, uh, he gives us something we haven't had in the pass rush area. So those two guys really, to me, I'm excited about being able to move around, create matchups that we're looking for that favor our, our defense. When you look at the two years of the quarterbacks, and if you have Connor and Jack last year, two seasoned veteran guys, and then two guys who really have little experience. How big of an adjustment does that take when you're coaching them through the spring practice? Well, I think, like I said, the biggest thing is, is we're trying to create as many game likes as possible, you know, because of – the variable you just mentioned and I think that uh, and it's you know it is what it is you can't you can't uh, make it exactly like that I, I get it so we're trying to do everything we can uh, to create those like I said today was really the first step of that with the with the two-minute situation but um, I, I think guys yeah, you know it's one thing about experience is there's only one way to get it you know and so when you don't have it you have to find ways to manufacture that so that's why the time we have between now and, and uh, September is going to be huge and everything we do about that even I think the summer is going to be even more important you know, they have given us some more ability to work with our guys in the summer with the new rules, and so we got to take full advantage of that as well. So I just think it's definitely a challenge without question, but at the same time, there's been other redshirt freshmen that have come in and played, and, and uh, even in that position at other places, and, and so that's what, uh, that's what the situation demands. 
Coach, when you guys open the season this fall, whoever's out there at corner is going to be a couple guys that have never suited up for you, you know, playing on defense. I guess how's that position coming along? And you got some transfers, some young guys. Are you kind of seeing the development, the progress that you're hoping to see? Yeah, I believe we are. You know, once again, we got two more weeks here, but you know, Jamari Sharp sticks out to me. You know, he's a guy that was here. We ran sure him. Really, really talented young man with a lot of length and great speed. And, and uh, excited about his development. I think James Mons continued to grow and develop. Excited about him as well. And then the new guys have all kind of stepped in here. And Kobe and Jameer, those guys are talented players, you know, and they got length. And so we've got a little bit different body types out there than we've had. Uh, we've got more of the six foot plus guys, and, and being able to take advantage of that is a good thing. So I'm excited about those guys. And we're trying to figure out still, even now as we create game situations, who's able to step up and make plays. Did a lot of emphasis on third downs today outside of the two minutes. So a lot of emphasis on our coverage and our different things we're doing, both man and zone. So uh, that's a new position for sure with some new faces that, uh, you know, we've had a lot of guys that played a lot of ball there the last several years. So excited to see the new guys step up and make plays. Two, uh, two scrimmages this past two weekends. Uh, what stood out about those? Well, I'll tell you what, the one that we just had uh, is probably the best one I've been a part of in regards to uh, the competition back and forth. You know, both all everything we did from AO versus D competition piece came down to the final snap for each one of those, and which is awesome. I thought we created a lot of game-like situations. I thought the guys, you know, both sides make a plays. That's kind of what sticks out to me. You know, we've had a chance to really focus on running the football. That's a big emphasis, and, and we know we got to do a better job with that and, and stopping the run. And so that's been a big uh, area of focus. And so that's we're making progress there, I believe, on both sides. And uh, but obviously, you're, you know, it's give and take with playing against yourselves, but but to me, guys stepping up and, and making some critical plays on both sides and being able to teach off of that. Even today's team meeting we talked a lot about from, from what happened on Saturday as we were normally in a game situation to be able to teach from that and show how those areas of takeaways, you know, for the defense, protecting the ball on offense, and then the explosive plays. And we're trying to create more of those as an offense and obviously prevent those. So uh, I just think it's what I've liked about it is, is both sides compete, a lot of new faces, a lot of guys getting a chance to be put in game-like situations. That's what we're trying to do. Hey, and you got still got five practices to go. Um, got in, there's some open spots on the roster to the 85. Portal opens back up, I think, May 1st. Any positions sticking out where you guys are, this summer may say, okay, we need to maybe add a couple guys here and there to kind of shore up some things? Yeah, yeah we do, and we're trying to look at that, and we'll be very aggressive with that. You know, I said O-line, D-line would be the emphasis initially, and then probably a skill guy on each side of the ball outside of that. So that's kind of where we're at, where we're thinking, and we'll see what's, uh, what's out there. And uh, obviously it's a whole new world of all that. You know, it's different for everybody to, to be able to have that as an opportunity and, and have to get those guys on campus and, and get them here officially before summer starts. So it's a... Uh, New world to, to adjust to, but yeah, it gives us an opportunity to go out and kind of see post-spring where you're at. We had a big meeting about this on uh, Saturday after the scrimmage, and so I kind of feel like we have a good feel for where we're at. You mentioned Cameron Perry before. Do you kind of see him as that Jalen Lucas type where no one really expects him or knows much about him, but he could have a huge year? Next well, we, we need him to. You know, he needs to be a guy that, that steps up and... You know, he, he just popped so much last year on the scout team against the defense. So I'm every single day. And with his ball skills and his ability to make guys miss in space and the burst he has. So he's a very similar to Jalen and everybody. So to have two of those guys to be able to have, you know, in, in that role is big. Uh, it's just about guys making plays in space. So, yeah, we're going to challenge him even today and, and into the last couple weeks here to finish strong and uh, just learning the, the, the system so he can be out there. Because obviously was being that scout guy, you're not really – you know, you're not running our own offense, so this is a chance for him to really grow in that area. He wasn't here last spring, so this is first spring ball here. So, yeah, he's one of those guys with that uh, when you say find ways to get that guy in space, get him the football. Now that Coach Guerrero has been here for a couple months, just how have you seen him integrate himself with the defense? Yeah, I tell you, he's been great for us. Uh, just love the way he works with our team, the way he works with our staff, and uh, he's just got a great mindset to, to be able to – how can we make it better? You know, obviously the system is what it is, and he's embraced that. And uh, that's, uh, but he's also brought some some ideas and ways that I think can help us make it even better. You know, so there's a lot of alignment in regards to philosophy how you play defense, and so he fits with that, which makes it an easy transition. But he's just a great person, very smart, uh, handles the room well, and uh, but he also <coughs> listens. I just love the way he works with our, both the coaches and the players, and it didn't take long for them to really recognize he's pretty special. Which I know obviously you've got Nick Radisett coming in in the fall, the yeah. kicker, but it, it, he's a freshman. Do you feel comfortable with what Chris Freeman and his other guys? I mean, Freeman looks like he's kicking the ball pretty well and extra RPA. Yeah, kick. I do. I think Chris is a talented, talented player, and, 
And obviously, Nico's going to be coming in. They're going to be competing for the, the, the chance to see who's going to kick field goals for us. And, and obviously, it's open competition. And uh, Chris obviously has an advantage because he's been here. And he's here right now and got a chance to be put in those game situations and, and in practice as well. And these next two scrimmages are going to be big for that. So we're trying to create stress on him to see how he responds to it. So, But uh, Nico comes in with a lot of talent. And uh, it's like everything else. We want competition at every spot. And we have it there for sure. All right, thanks, Tom. Awesome. Have a great day. Elio.